Azzy, are you from the future? I can't tell you that. You have to sign an NDA. Oh, jeez. Space touring became a routine affair in 2050. Yeah, Azzy knows all about this, but she won't talk about it. And now, Earthman's favorite resort is Utopia, which is a newly discovered planet. It's true. I mean, I don't know that. <laughs> With a mild climate and wonderful landscapes. Unfortunately, smuggling became bigger too. Yeah, that was a sad time. The spaceship to Utopia was about to depart Miami. I was on that spaceship. I mean, no, it wasn't. <laughs> When the customs officers arrived to block the doors in the spaceport, they just got to know that a smuggler was among the passengers. Ooh. I mean, I already know this because I'm from the future. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah, as he's already been there, hopefully we can figure it out. The officers inspected everyone's tickets and luggage. All passengers had round trip tickets. Sarah, that's her stuff. Looking cute. Yeah. Chris, that's his stuff. One for him, one for his daughter. Seems fair. And Michelle, she's got a lot of medicine and a bag of fast food. She's also the only one with a winter jacket and a bikini. Why would you need both? You're making some good points. And why would you check fast food, huh? Huh? Be your hunger on the plane? Ah, uh, yes. She doesn't need a fur coat there. And she doesn't need it upon her arrival back to Miami either. Look at all those diamonds she smuggled. Diamonds! Eddie was having dinner with his friends at a restaurant. Eddie, we love Eddie. Boys support boys. Look at that spaghetti. But suddenly the room got dark. Oh. Turn on the light! Yeah, turn it on, please! Let's run! Help! Hey! Hey, who touched me? <laughs> hey, who stole my purse? Soon the barman turned on the light, and a lady yelled, ah! Oh no, she looks so scared, look at her hair. My diamond brooch is gone! The friends ran up to the woman. Oh, there goes my head. We'll help you! Yes, we have a real detective among us. Indeed we do. Eddie looked around and quickly found the thief. How convenient that there was a detective. We can always depend on Eddie. Who stole the brooch? Imagine it's the detective. That would be a plot twist. I know who it was, because it was me. <laughs> Good one, genius. All right, did somebody slip a brooch in their salad? Is anyone wearing different clothes? Come on. Does anybody have a bulge in their pants? I am noticing that like there's three lines here. Okay that weren't there before. So I think this is like the back of the brooch. Oh, the detective did steal it. I made a joke about that. <laughs> oh. oh, he put the brooch in his glass. Oh, rip. Oh, oh, it's, the, oh it's full again. Oh, like nobody could see that. Mikey was a D student. <laughs> oh no, not trying very hard. Most of all, he hated math. He didn't even try to understand anything. He was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on autopilot and always handed over a blank sheet of paper. Well, he's really not trying, wow. His math teacher, Mr. Todd, could hardly tolerate it. One day, Mr. Todd came into school in a wild mood. His wife had just left him for another man. <gasps> oh, Mr. Todd. <laughs> Mr. Todd went mad and decided to take it out on Mikey. Oh, Mikey. He locked the boy in the school basement. Oh, look at those evil eyes. <laughs> he's disgusting. Solve my riddle and I'll set you free! Mr. Todd, you're terrifying! <laughs> I'll just ask your parents to send you to another school. <laughs> if not, you'll die of hunger in this basement. <laughs> what number is missing, Todd? I know that you didn't study very hard in class, but I think it's time. Oh no. <laughs> Zero? Oh wait, no. <laughs> no, because we carry the one. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh <laughs> negative one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't think it does, Azzy. I think it's a trick question. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, we got a basic math problem wrong. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde got married for deep love. After the wedding, they moved into a nice house. Ooh, they're so happy. Bonnie and Clyde lived happily, so happy, and didn't do a thing but spend time together. What? The sun has turned into a heart. Mm-hmm. They walked in the park, went to the beach, played volleyball, went driving, maybe robbed a few banks. They're so in love. They love each other. And had chef's special at their favorite restaurant. Oh, that's a nice day. Oh, look at them. As a result, they became millionaires. What? How does any of that have to do with them becoming millionaires? That's what we gotta answer, Azzy. How is that possible? Are they like an actor couple? Maybe they're travel bloggers. Bloggers? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they were taking pictures all the way. They were like, check out our like cool day. Oh, originally they were billionaires and oh, they spent all their money. <laughs> they spent all their money. I mean, I don't think Five Second Riddles understands how much money a billion is. Yeah. It ain't that easy to spend a billion. Definitely, definitely. That's why it never would have come to mind. I was like, eh, I wasn't thinking about that. It was a freezing winter morning and a dangerous criminal escaped from prison. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. 
A squad of police ran after him. Soon, they found a wet prison jumpsuit by the lake. Oh no, he's disappeared in thin air. Oh, and the ice on the lake was broken. Oh no, he's disappeared into the ice. <laughs> How is he alive? Yeah, maybe he isn't. We have lost his trail. He couldn't go far. I bet he's in that hut. Why did he think so? Well, because like you said, he couldn't have gone far. Like he probably just made a hole as a distraction. I think he tried to run across the ice. The ice broke, he went through, he went, oh, it's cold. And then he took off his wet clothes, left him here. Oh, you're so right. Yeah, buddy. And then went into the house to warm up. <laughs> he thinks he can outsmart in us. <laughs> Jumpsuit's wet, he fell through. Oh wait, otherwise the jumpsuit would be icy. Yeah, we, we got that, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Ella was lying tied to the railroad tracks. Oh no, Ella, you gotta get out. It's not the situation you wanna be in. Someone kidnapped her to play a bad joke, like not even funny. That is a bad joke. Now a train was approaching Ella at a high speed, but fortunately her dog Goldie came to help her. <laughs> Goldie bit the rope in the nick of time. Now they have to get off that track. Keep running. Well, why, why don't they just run to the sides? Yeah, right? But instead, Ella and Goldie decided to run towards the train. What? what? Why? I don't know why. That's so weird. They're still running towards it, but it's, you know, it's going you the opposite think? direction. I think so. What's the incentive to chase after the train? Well, it looks like she's in a tunnel right now. Maybe they can't go left or right. Oh, yeah, she's like following the light, maybe? Something like that, I think. I'm trying to use a big brain, but it's not there. They were in the tunnel. You're right, so stepping aside wouldn't be a good idea. Ella and Goldie ran up ahead to escape from the tunnel. Whoa, oh, that's a Whoa. risky play. Oh, it wasn't going away from them. Julia is a martial artist. Yeah, yeah. Woo! One day she was walking through the park and saw three men. She got this. Don't mess with her. Snatching a purse from an old lady. Ruthless. She decided to stop them. Ah, look at her run. And give the purse back to the old lady. She knows karate. Get out of her way. But the men didn't want to fight a martial artist. I mean, I don't blame them. Fight one of us. If you win, we'll give you the purse. If you lose, you'll have to let us go. Whose butt should Julia whoop? Hmm, well, she plays martial, not plays. <laughs> but what's the right word? Does martial arts? Uh, yeah, she does. She practices martial arts. So the strongest, the fastest, or the most agile. I feel like she should go for the strongest because she can like, you know, go around him and like get him into a headlock or something, you know? That's true. I wish it said like what martial arts. Because if it was like BJJ, then she could take the strongest guy. If it's karate. I mean, fast and agile are the same thing. So obviously we go for the strongest, right? And hope that yeah. he doesn't clock us. Yeah, this guy looks like he throws haymakers. This looks like Brock Lesnar. But as long as they're slow, you can get it in the first punch and knock him out first. Yeah, true. She's obviously faster and can easily win against the strongest men. Yes, she can. Scientists created a military robot. It was custom made for the FBI. Look there, look at that big on button. Yeah, I really want to press it it's so bad. Once they forgot to turn it off after testing though, oh, here it comes. Just press the big button. <laughs> and the robot broke free. I just like, I grab a broom and I just like press that button. Yeah. The scientists called the FBI. We need help. The robot is very dangerous. The most experienced agent arrived. He had three different weapons, a bomb, a bow and arrow, and a, uh, a baton. Which one should the agent use against the robot? <laughs> I think the baton, you can poke him. Yeah, definitely the baton. I'm um, gonna do fire a bow and arrow at his chest. <laughs> you, yeah, your aim would have to be really good and it's just too risky. Yeah, so the bomb is way too dangerous. It can destroy the entire lab and everyone in it. Oh, the baton's useless. But, but you can press the button. So you wanna use the bow and arrow. Oh no. But you have to be really experienced to get that on button on. Three boys were playing in the garden. <laughs> Let's race. Ready, steady, go. Ooh, I'm much faster oh. than you. Roy came first. Suddenly, the boys heard a police siren. Oh? Better run even faster now. They were scared and hid in the bushes. Yoink! Their mother went outside. What's going on over here? Well, we got a message that one of your boys was replaced with a, uh, you know, a murderous robot. Oh my goodness! Not my poor sweet boy! Well, I think I already know which one of them it is. Which footprints belong to the robot? Uh... The one that steps closer to each other, Sam? Okay, so here's the deal. All the footprints look the same and like the pacing's generally the same, but Roy beat them so badly, it could only be robotic. Oh, you're right. Oh, as you're right. They're perfectly straight. <laughs> A human can't run like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so, I'm so dumb. <laughs> no, you're not, you're a genius. 
No, I'm dumb. Stanley was home all along. Throwing a party. Playing with his toy cars in the hall. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Suddenly, a portal opened right in their house. Excuse me. And a vampire appeared in the room. He had sharp teeth and was ready to bite the boy. No! Yes! Don't do that! Stanley looked around, thinking about which way to run. Which way do I go? Oh boy, oh jeez, oh boy, oh jeez. To the bedroom? Does that sound good? Hmm, not particularly. To the basement? Ooh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Basement has some tools that you could use. Yeah, actually that's probably true. What do you call those things that you can stab vampires in the heart with? A steak. A steak. Mm -hmm. steak, yeah. It's right there. Okay, so you're going to the basement? Yeah, grabbing that steak, or I'm just gonna go outside and let the sunlight do the dirty work. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the bedroom because there's light peeking through here, and I'm gonna open the blinds and be like, try to get me now. That's a good option. I don't trust myself with a steak. There are many tools, but Stanley is too young to fight a vampire, so he needs to fight him with the sun. The curtains. Well, why are the curtains closed anyways? Because it's hot in there. Air conditioning is expensive. You were exploring a remote forest area, but got lost and had no idea where to go. Spooky. <laughs> Soon you came across a small cabin in the woods. Even more spooky. <laughs> you came up to the house and saw a forester. Less spooky. He's a buff man. Hello, could you please tell me how I can get to the railway station? Well, you see, you go down this trail until you reach a crossroads, and uh, there'll be a rock with signboards. Just remember, the left one lies, the right one tells the truth. Oh no, but they both lie in then. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, because if like the left one's lying and the railway station isn't left, then it must be right. Then you're just stuck in the forest. Unless you have to go to the Willy Village. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd go to Willy Village because, you know, I'm not... This is a lie. Or is it? Maybe he's a lie. Ah, maybe he's a big walk and lie. I'm going to Willy Village. The left one lies, so walk straight ahead. Oh. Oh, yeah, duh. Laura hated English lessons. Hated them. Yeah, she looks so grumpy, but also kind of like her hair. And often skipped class. I'm out of here. I'm going to go dye my hair even more pink. <laughs> she was going home alone late at night. It's scary for a little girl at that late at night. Mm hmm Suddenly, her English teacher, Mr. Stone, appeared right in front of her. What is he doing out here? Yeah, is he following her? <gasps> oh, he grabbed Laura and put what? her into the trunk of his car. Why? She got really scared and fainted. Huh. <gasps> Wow, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that either. Laura woke up in a basement and saw Mr. Stone drawing some sort of flower on the floor. Well, that's just a flower. Oh no, he's gonna make us do English. Oh no, not English. She hates English. Two letters are missing here, two of them. All right, guess what letters and I'll set you free. Now hopefully you're better at English than you are at math. If not, you'll stay here forever. <laughs> Awkward laugh. <laughs> what letters are missing? Um, I don't know. Uh, help me, Azzy. I don't know either. I'm just thinking. Wait, wait, one second, one second. I first I thought it was one letter, and I was like, the top of the bottom was ready if you put an A, but it's two letters. Okay, but maybe we're thinking of it differently. Maybe the first two letters are the middle letters are the first two letters. You know what I mean? <gasps> For example, C A would be care on the first one. Care, can't, caddy, caddy, caca, coco. <laughs> no, no, but then it would be opposite. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I'm letting time run out. We gotta solve it. Oh no, oh no, I don't know, I don't know. P.E. Cope, mope, cape, me. me. What do you mean, comedy? Camera. Comedy. Oh. Comedy. Oh. Oh, I was so wow. close. Our English is not any better than our math. No, it's not. A woman called the police on Christmas Eve. I haven't seen my neighbor Jane for several days. I used to run into her a few times a day. Something terrible might have happened to her. I'm just so worried. Policeman came soon and broke open Jane's front door. Let me guess, she did. Oh, she was tied up? Oh, I was wrong. The day before Christmas, of all days. It was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. A robber broke into my house three days ago. I've been sitting here for three days. My butt's so sore. He tied me up, grabbed my money and laptop and left. But the policeman didn't believe Jane. Why? It has to do with the fact that this is the day before Christmas. Oh, something to do with the tree maybe? Like who was she celebrating with? Oh no. That's true, yeah, maybe maybe no one's around or maybe, maybe he would have stole the presents too and not just a laptop and money. She said she was tied up. Then who's rolled the calendar over, huh? Oh, oh, oh it's oh. a good one. Oh, genius. 
Harold is the bride's father. Look at him. Colonel Sanders is in the house. He found out that his wallet was gone. Who does that? At a wedding? After the wedding ceremony, he thought he could just lose it somewhere. Two weeks later, the newlyweds came back from their honeymoon. The family sat down to watch the wedding video. Uh-oh. And to everyone's surprise, look at they're all blue. Oh no. What happened? The father spotted his wallet on the video. Oh no, that's so awkward. Someone stole it! I mean, it's in the groom's pants. Where is the wallet? You see it? Yeah, in his pants. Oh, pfft, duh. He's stealing from his father-in-law. That's rude. Gloria's grandmother lived in the country. And one day, Gloria came to her place for the weekend. Look at all those fruit in the basket. She unpacked her bag and went for a walk. Oh, wow, I love the forest. Gloria was walking near a lake. Don't you see anything in there? Oh, she saw a swarm of bees. Everything just scares me in these riddles. They looked really aggressive. There's so many, oh my god. And they were definitely going to attack her. They look more like wasps to me, but they're scary. Gloria had to run away from them as fast as she could. Just jump in the water, Gloria. To the lake, 10 meters. Okay. To the house, 100 meters. Which way should she run? To the lake. They're not gonna stink her under the water. Bees can't swim. Yeah, I agree, to the lake. The bees won't be able to follow her into the water. I'd let's just hope she can swim. Dan was on vacation in the tropics, yeah. He was wandering in the jungle. Bongo, bongo, ooh, the jungle. Oh, yikes, when a tribe caught him. Well, the one on the right looks real happy. I wanna be that happy. <laughs> Me too. The chief explained to Dan that he had to fulfill his task or they would kill him. Well, let us know what he is. Easy. The chief showed him a pond. It's a beautiful pond, sparkly, full of little fast moving fish. Dan had to catch one or several of them. What's up with the levitating guy? <laughs> He's just dancing. Using only his shorts and the products on his body, which one should he use? So shorts and spit, shorts and hair, or shorts and red Kool-Aid? Well, the red Kool-Aid, I think that um, the fish would taste it in the water and then- Yeah, you're right. You're right, especially if they're carnivorous. Hair won't attract fish. Kool-Aid may attract some sort of fish. But not these ones. These ones don't like Kool-Aid. No, they don't. They do not. I never would have thought that you should use spit. It contains small pieces of food attractive for the fish. Did you know that? No, and I, I don't know how well it would work. I don't think it would, but you know what? <laughs> That's really something. If seven second riddle says it worked, then it would work. That's true. We gotta just believe. Donald the plumber was accused of moida and went to prison. He believed he was innocent though and decided to escape the same night. <gasps> the building was old and had lots of winding corridors. No man had ever escaped from there. Ever, ever? Forever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. How did Donald manage to escape? He has a vent. Yeah, the vent. Why not? He can also prove his innocence. I mean, he's already convicted and in jail though, so I'm not sure how much of that he's gonna be able to do in here. So probably kick the vent open, go through. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather flush myself down the toilet, to be honest, because those <laughs> right? fences. Oh, well, we were supposed to know that he was a plumber. I don't remember that part. Oh, me neither. That a person was able Able to fit in the air duct system. Oh, pfft. okay. Well then, they're reaching. They're reaching indeed. But thanks so much for hanging out and doing some riddles with me, Azzy. Oh, thank you. We did some riddles as well on Azzy's channel, so make sure you go and check those baby boys out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.